ministers, the ESOF champion, the president of Euroscience, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for this invitation to speak at the opening session of ESOF 2020. I bring you the good wishes of South Africa's Minister of Higher Education, Science and Innovation, Dr. Bladen Zimande, who unfortunately due to urgent business of government is unable to join us this afternoon. South Africa has a historic relationship with ESOF, and over the years, the forum has played an important role in strengthening our strategic science and innovation partnership with Europe. It also provided the inspiration for the organization of our own Science Forum South Africa, an event known to many of you. We are therefore delighted to also actively support ESOF 2020 taking place in an important country, Italy, and in a city, Trieste, which hosts several of our strategic partners, including the World Academy of Sciences, the International Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology, and the International Center for Theoretical Physics. Building effective, mutually beneficial global partnerships is a consistent theme and priority of national strategy and policy uh, documents for science, technology, and innovation in South Africa. Indeed, South Africa has embraced the principle that science knows no borders and actively promotes international cooperation. Given the myriad of societal challenges of our time, including climate change, energy, food security, and health, it is imperative that international science cooperation be enhanced. No country alone has the resources, both human capital as well as funding to address global issues on its own. Cooperation in science, technology, and innovation is also key in achieving the United Nations Sustainable uh, Development Goals. Harnessing research and innovation to improve the lives of South Africans remains our priority, addressing the triple challenges of poverty, unemployment, and inequality. The timing of ESOF 2020 is opportune to have a discussion on science and the critical role that it plays as we face the global pandemic of COVID-19. South Africa has a strong collaboration in science, technology, and innovation with Europe through various partnership programs which has been further enhanced through cooperation in addressing COVID-19. As seen across the globe, science, technology, and innovation has played a key role in responding to the public health challenges posed by COVID-19. Research and innovation are indeed at the heart of efforts to detect, treat, and prevent the pandemic. The role that science advice plays to policymakers has also been central in the decision-making processes in enhancing the management of COVID-19. Generating and applying new knowledge is crucial to finding solutions and addressing these challenges. I am therefore delighted that Professor Salim Abdul Karim, who chairs South Africa's Ministerial Advisory Committee on COVID-19, will speak during Friday's morning special ESOF session on lessons we have learned from the pandemic to prepare for future uh, global health challenges. Prof. Karim will join all friends of South Africa and leading global scientists like Professor Michael Kizakchkin, a champion in the fight against HIV AIDS. No country has been spared the devastating negative impact of COVID-19 on their economies. Across the globe, uh, we have seen significant rises in our unemployment, the widening of inequality, with the most vulnerable of populations at greater risks than ever. We have at our disposal the immense potential of innovation and technology to not only reinvigorate growth in existing industries, but also to develop new ones, safeguarding existing and creating new economic opportunities. Our world is changing. Not least among these changes are the greater interconnectivity between countries and continents, which means developments such as disease outbreaks in one region 
rapidly spread to another. Simply put, our problems are also our neighbors' problems. More than ever, we need greater global solidarity, especially, and this is perhaps the most pressing societal challenge of our time, to confront the rising unacceptable and very dangerous inequalities which impact on all aspects of our society. Nowhere is this more evident than the huge disparities, discrepancies sorry, with regard to access to affordable health care citizens of our planet are faced with, often merely determined by the fortune of or misfortune of where one is born. It is not only the nature of our challenges which are changing, 